Hi guys and uh, welcome back to Mixed Loopers Vlogs. Today I've decided to challenge myself as much as I can and repeatedly. First of all I put my eye makeup on this morning, eyeliner which I've always used to wear but I stopped wearing a lot once I got attacked uh, several years ago. I'm also starting the vlog in a very public area where I'm speaking where there's lots of people around and I'm forcing myself to do this. Um, I also got on a tram this morning and it was a very packed tram and I didn't get off, I stayed on the tram. Turns out there's a Manchester United game in Manchester today and of course I'm heading towards Manchester, I'm now in Manchester. Welcome to... Welcome! <laughs> this is the vlog! <laughs> Today's challenge day. I don't know what I'm going to be doing yet, I might be going down seeing the homeless camp, I may be going down and uh, getting some food, I might vlog it, I might not. Who knows? Let's see where this goes, so uh, come with me. Okay, so really, really quick because it is raining and I don't want to get my camera really wet. Oh, my food wet. I have an Eisenberger. Now, that's how it's supposed to look. Normally, I completely and utterly annihilate it by carrying it for a mile, but I've literally gone outside and just round onto a pallet on the side of the building. And this is the Chef, chef Special. I've no idea what this is. Okay, that just looks good. That's some sort of giant hot dog. Anyway, that's my food for the day and uh, thanks for watching. Okay, so I'll make this quick. I'm heading up to the homeless camp, so I figured I'd take some supplies up for them. I got a uh, five ground sheets so that they end up not getting wet and they can use it to help reinforce the tents. Five pairs of thermals and five hand warmers and a bag to put it all in, so I'm gonna pass it over to one of them when I get there. Again, it is raining a bit and I don't like filming when it's raining. But I will do just because this is a really important cause. Um, the homeless camp in Manchester are protesting because they need homes. And instead of giving them homes, they're actually just evicting them. I'm coming down with stuff to help, and I think everyone else should too. If you know, if you can help, do. Okay, so after delivering some supplies to the homeless camp, I've realised they need far more help than I can possibly give. The tents are falling apart, they need, they need help. If you've got tents or blankets or anything that can help them, then take it down. I'm going to go see if I can pick up some gaffer tape, some tent pegs and probably some uh, food for them. Uh, if you can help, seriously, this is a need. They, they need houses. They're people. They're human beings. They haven't done anything wrong to end up on the streets. And yet, the government just chucks them out there and leaves them there like trash and then tries to evict them and sweep them under the carpet. Again, like rubbish. If you can help, this is a really serious cause and you should come down and, you know, donate, help, give you time. Just anything that you can do is appreciated. Thanks. So I've just worked out how to shock and confuse a Greg's employee. Uh, you ask him if they've got any vegetable passes and they say, no, but we can put some on for you. It'll take about 15, 20 minutes. And he said, oh, okay then, can I have 15? <laughs> I'm gonna deliver some food down to the homeless camp and uh, hopefully they, uh, they can get their energy up because they're going to need it obviously. Again, I'm going to say it and I'm going to say it again and again. If you're in Manchester, if you're in the area, if you can help out, if you can give them anything, you know, just to make the day a bit happier, food, drink, socks, anything literally, then come down, give them a hand, give them something. They're, you know, the people at the end of the day and they need our help. So I've just delivered a lot of hot food to the homeless camp and they are really appreciative. If anyone else can do the same, then please do it because, you know, they need food. They need shelter. They need houses, to be honest. And the council just aren't doing fuck all about it. Sorry for the swearing. It does get to me. It really does. I'm no skin now, but I don't give a shit. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to finish this vlog off 
in the middle of the Arndale Centre in Manchester. Like I've said before, I'm trying to do things that really stress me out, and this is really stressing me out because I'm not really supposed to be doing this today. But the worst they can do is kick me out, and I'm at the end of the day anyway. So this has been Mixed Bloopers Vlogs, and peace out.